showing you how to etch a wine bottle. We're going to be making an anniversary gift. Um, so as you can see, some things that you're going to need are the wine bottle, of course, your Cricut machine or Silhouette, some vinyl, I like to use the Oracle 651, some latex gloves, a paintbrush, and some Armor Edge cream. Okay, first what you want to do is get an idea of how big uh, you want it to be etched on. So we are looking at about three, three and a half inches if we want it to be relatively the same size as the label that's there. Now you can go ahead and launch your Cricut Design Space and pick the design you wish to do. Biggest thing you want to make sure is that your line type is a cut with no fill because you're going to cut your vinyl. Make sure that your size is correct for the size that you measured and you want to draw a shape, a square that you're going to put in behind your actual image. This is going to create a nice border for when you put the etching cream on. If you're used to using a Cricut, you know that when, if you were just to cut out this image, it would cut fairly close to the edge. That would allow uh, mistakes to happen when you're putting the etching cream on to go on different parts of the glass that you don't want to etch. So this is how we avoid it. Once you get it relatively close to the center, you can go ahead and attach those images. So you want to make sure everything is in cut mode um, and then you're ready to go ahead and make it. So a couple of things you want to check before you go ahead and cut your vinyl. First of all, make sure it's in cut. Second, I want to make sure that my material size is 12 by 12, which means I'm going to use a 12 by 12 mat. Even though I'm going to use a scrap of vinyl, I just need to make sure that it's about four and a half by four and a half uh, or bigger to make sure that it doesn't um, cut off the edge of the vinyl itself. Now grab your 12 by 12 mat, grab your scrap of vinyl, stick it in the top corner, and I like to use just a card to make sure that it's all flat. So once your vinyl is cut out, you can go ahead, pull it off your mat, uh, I like to pull the edge off and then you can use your weeding tool to start taking all the little pieces out of your design. So you basically just have an outline left. Okay, next thing you want to do is soak your bottle in hot water for about 5 to 10 minutes and then really uh, peel that label off. Make sure there's no residue left. As you can see, I do have the label on the back still so you can see the type of wine, but I did remove it off the front. Some labels can be pretty tricky. This particular one was actually the easiest one I've done yet. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and apply the vinyl on the bottle itself. You wanna make sure um, the bottle is nice and dry, free of uh, fingerprints and stuff like that. Any oils, you can use some um, rubbing alcohol, anything like that to get all of the oil off to make sure the vinyl is gonna stick with the least amount of bubbles. So I like to take my vinyl and um, sticky side facing out of course, fold it in half and just to make a little crease at the top right there so I know kind of where the middle is. Then I can get a good idea of uh, where the label is on the other side and try to line it up the best way that I can. Stick the center in first and then work out towards the edges. And then I like to use the card again. And then we're gonna go ahead and peel the vinyl off. Don't worry about bubbles in it right now. So once you get your transfer tape off, you really wanna go ahead and smooth out all of the bubbles that are close to the vinyl uh, edges. You don't really worry about bubbles like up here because we're not going to be um, putting any etching cream up there, it's more of a fail safe, but the ones that are really close to the letters um, is where you want to get all the bubbles out so that we don't have any etching cream get in areas where we are not looking to etch. Okay, 
now that we have all the etching cream off, you go ahead and just remove the vinyl. Don't worry, you're not going to see the design right away because it's still wet. It has to be uh, fairly dry for you to actually see it. So as you're actually rinsing it um, and pulling the vinyl, it is a little hard to see. Don't worry, it'll look a lot better once it is fully dried. Go ahead and give it a nice wash again. Okay, now we're gonna let it dry and you'll see the finished product. Okay guys, here is the final product. A little hard to see with the lighting, but pretty happy with how it turned out. Very cute and pair it with some nice etched wine glasses will be an awesome anniversary gift, wedding gift.